Hey guys, Ralph here. Welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness on this terrific Tuesday here in Connecticut. Just absolutely terrific, man. Life's good. I can't begin to tell you how great life is. <laughs> anyway, uh, every once in a while I like to get back to the basics. Strength, flexibility, and endurance. As you know, I work with a lot of athletes. And I consider the trumpet to be an athletic endeavor. Guys, if you don't have this book, you are leaving double C's right on the floor, man. You don't have to do kettlebell. This is a book. I'll get to it in a minute. Ten bucks. Anyway, um, yeah, let's get going. Let me uh, honk a little bit. The first notes of the day, Ace. You know what? I just do that anyway, as a matter of course, as you know. But how ironic to talk about strength by quoting who I consider to be the strongest trumpet player that ever lived, Mel Broyles. Anyway, let's see what we got. Vibrant. If you remember, was it yesterday? Friday? I don't remember. It was like stuck in the mud. It wasn't vibrating at all. That, that's like shot out of a can. double C's and a little bit of Carnival of Venice a little sloppier than what I would have liked but works and all anyway strength flexibility and endurance now as you know I compare this a lot to athletes now strength flex every single athlete needs Strength in abundance. Some athletes, depending on what sport you play, depending on what position you play in that sport, your needs are completely different. For the sake of argument, Tom Brady's center at Tampa Bay, I don't even know his name, 325 pounds of girth and strength. He needs strength more than he needs flexibility. And the guy standing right behind him, Tom Brady with his hands on his butt, uh, playing the same sport, two feet, not even two, he's touching him. That's how close he is. Needs a lot more flexibility than pure strength. A Kenyan national runner needs a lot more endurance than he needs brute strength. And Misty Copeland of the uh, American Ballet Theater, and don't think for a minute, they aren't incredible athletes, ballet, all dancers. Misty Copeland needs a lot more flexibility than certainly Tom Brady or his center or whatever okay so with that said depending on where you're coming from and where you're starting with we need strength flexibility and endurance now I come from using those three terms from the uh, physical culture aspect but basically if you think about it it's the same thing as tone power range and endurance it just is strength big tone small tone right uh, Flexibility, vizuti, whatever, right? And endurance is the same thing, being able to play. So it, it's, it's not... Anyway, with that said, so power. Guys, Pavel, who does the uh, kettlebells, the name of his company is Strong First. Now, you know I, I think very highly of, of Pavel and all his knowledge. And guys, he says everything else, speed, endurance, everything, is secondary. You must have strength first. Now, like 
paddle. Using hyperradiation with the trumpet, I try to take all the stress of the strength aspect of it and uh, hyperradiate it to different muscle groups. But the fact of the matter is, guys, the tongue is the whole thing. And every single one of us has enough strength in the tongue to play triple quadruple C's. It just, it, for pure strength, it will hold. It's not gonna break down. It doesn't matter if you're 90 years old. It doesn't matter if you're 10 years old. It's enough. Now, many scientists, whatever, think the tongue is the strongest muscle in the body. I don't know. I don't believe that. I think the quads, I think the uh, uh, tuchus, I think uh, those are, they're a lot stronger. I don't know how they calibrate that. What do they, they do tongue ups? You know, I, I don't know how they calibrate it. But let's just say it's extremely strong. And guys, that is all the strength you need to play double C's and have super, super power. It's compression. Compression. Now listen, listen. Yes, we tighten up our core. Very, very important. The kettlebells help with that, okay? But here, conventional wisdom from the orchestral guys. Bilger, Chris Martin. That is their approach. Now, I am going to tighten up my core. Tight, tight, tight like I'm playing a triple C, okay? Okay. There we go. La. It makes no difference at all. Unless you compress that air using the tongue as a valve. That is more power with my hand than Bilger or Chris Martin could get with their horn. They have more projection with their horn, but pure power, guys, that is where your strength comes in, the tongue. And it amazes me that so many of these yahoos out there that claim they're using TCE and play with the tiniest, little, obnoxious, whiny, scratchy, out of tune notes and say, this is Jerry? <laughs> Not on my watch, you don't. Know. Anyway, we're getting away from it. Strength. Think of Pavel, Pavel strong first. It does not come from overblowing. It does not come from straining. It is using the strength of the tongue to compress the air. That's it. Mel Broyles, God bless him. He was using bathtub box and D and E flat trumpets to offset that. Every single time he would go above a high C and I heard him play double C's, it would make Maynard blush. He would put in his jet toe mouthpiece, but he was absolutely a thousand percent compressing. He talked about, hey, she got to play with a tight asshole. Now, again, you're going to make yourself constipated if you don't offset it with the tongue. Now, he didn't know he was doing that, but trust me, his, he was, his articulations popped like you wouldn't believe. He and Catarabic was another one. Power, power personified. Vacchiano, very, very strong player, okay? He didn't have the upper register that these Herseth had. Super strong, could play high Gs. Harry James, stronger than all of them, except Mel, could play high Gs. Vacchiano had the power, had the power. He was not gonna go downtown and play lead on a Broadway show after the, show, after the Philharmonic, no. But the Leonore calls Beethoven, Mahler, Strauss, Killed it. Killed it with the power. No way around it. And why these guys today? Somewhere along the line, I think I'm going to blame that with Gerard Schwartz and that school of, of I think I'm going to put it at his feet. He came right out and told Jerry uh, he wanted to sound like a bassoon. Jerry told him, why don't you play the bassoon? But anyway, that's that. So anyway, strength. Tomorrow we'll do flexibility. The day after that we'll do endurance. All right, guys, get the book. SFE, 15 minutes. You do them in the morning. You do them at night if you want. 
You certainly can incorporate them during your uh, practice session. If you don't want to do the kettlebells, that is strength. That is tone. That is power. Love you all. Have a good day.